sometimes too much. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, hey man, I'm trying to like talk to you. And then he's like, nah. <laughs> nah, I'm the Wendigo right now. I'm not even gonna try to imitate the voice. <laughs> yeah. I try to imitate the voice, I'm not gonna do him any justice. He'll probably be like around the corner and throw like a pie at me or something. <laughs> That's what he does. He pays me in pies that he throws at me. <laughs> Are they good pies at least? You know, he keeps up with like cherry and strawberry. He has an obsession with the color red, it's weird. That is it. That is the last page of the last issue currently. Hmm. Which is uh, issue six, mm -hmm. and LA Crazy Town is, uh, as we see here, in the not so distant future, a group of supernatural misfits take the crime of Los Angeles into their own hands in this fantasy noir adventure. So there you go. Like this is like the general gist of it. And, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll draw you guys a Wendigo. Thank you. Thanks. And that way, you have a character reference to, like, you know, what it's about. Well, I mean, it's not about him. Chris really likes him. Right. So, to be fair, I don't want to, I don't want to say that he's not a big character. So yeah. it's West Coast Comics then it, right? Mm -hmm. West, West Coast, Coast Comics not that. I'm gonna Coast write Comics this down on okay. here. Okay, right. cool. So that way, uh, make it easier. <laughs> um, he did have a lot of cards, but mm -hmm. it's just yeah, it's just a matter of running out. And... I got you. I have something completely unrelated to ask. Sure. Uh, but is there like a story behind this uh, arm sleeve tattoo? Oh, <laughs> I, I think it looks really cool. I just want to know if there's a story behind that that you'd be willing to tell. Um, well, my dad was a mechanical engineer, right. and uh, as a result, I uh, the smell of grease is really, really just feels good. Like I love the smell of it. I love the smell of cars, but I'm not really a mechanic. Right. I draw comic books. Right. Um, <laughs> this is a little different. But, um, the, but like, the spirit of machines is just something that I feel like always is, is a part of me in one way or another. Right. So, um, every little bit of it's kind of like something from a different, uh, like mechanical fandom and something right. inherently inspirational. So this is like 1984 Terminator, this is Robocop's plate, uh, this is like Proto Man here. Oh. Uh, these platelets would be like zero. Actually, speaking of zero, Mega Man Zero Three. Whoa. That's Omega's head. Cool. Because that game is sweet. <laughs> I promise you, it's very hard. Like so hard, you're gonna like bleed out of your nose and like it's it's awful. But as it's a Mega Man fan, it's awful this week. Huh? It's awful this week. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm addicted. I've been addicted to Mega Man games for years, so. Um, but I try to like just every time because it's something that's always with you, something that's right. always a part of you. So you know, uh, you know, my my father passed away some time ago, um, but I still, I mean, he got me into conventions. You know, mm -hmm. like it's funny because I see a lot of parents with their kids walking around and whatnot, yeah. and I just. It reminds me of me, you know, because I started handling uh, when I was like 16 years old. Uh, like Gil Gerard, Aaron Gray, um, uh, John Romita Sr., George Perez, uh, Martin O'Dell, oh god, the creator of Green Lantern. He uh, also uh, was the last, that, he passed away unfortunately. Um, but he was the last living person to work with Bill Finger, the co-creator of Batman. Oh. He was littered with stories. The guy had like a story for everything from like the golden age of comics, the 30s and the 40s and whatnot. He was great. He was just, he was amazing. And I do, I do miss those times. So, you know, every time I look down at my arm, kind of reminds me of those days. So, oh, that's I do really miss cool. It. But, with uh, with every good thing, you, know, you take with you. Yeah. West Coast Comics. Dot net. And it's gonna be a word bubble. He likes to say it all the time. 
in you know, all Chris's videos, he's always like, Where's Coach Carmax? I try to do it, and it's no good. <laughs> it's no good. It's not the same. It's not the same. I'm glad some, glad some darkness on the other side, because he can be, he's not a Grimace character himself, right. but he's always in very Grimace situations. The world around him is dark. And even though he is a monster, he tries to make the best of it. Mm -hmm. Hi. Working on Wendigo stories is fun. I've been doing concept art for him for some of his new comics. Uh, How I Stole Your Galaxy is one. Right. And that one's kind of a very, uh, th <laughs> think, uh, <laughs> Think like Danny Ocean, very uh, like space intergalactic heist with uh, very uh, very Miyazaki backdrops. Oh. Um, if you like Outlaw Star, yeah. If you like uh, Cowboy Bebop, um, mm -hmm. Lupin the Third, Ooh, love Lupin, um, Space Dandy. Who doesn't? Uh, if you're right, <laughs> if you're a That's fan of any of those things. I mean, he's kind of, he's, he's that pompadour, man, like... It's great. He it needs to come back. I rocked a pompadour for a while, and now I, yeah, it's, <laughs> now my hair is kind of like, it's like a rat. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of why I call it like, uh, we get, yeah, by cutting it off. <laughs> That's how we fix it. I was going to say it, but... I think it's Yeah. That's true. Always got to be thankful for that. I mean, it's getting to. I know it's going to be like the Bruce Willis. He's like thinning on the sides. Yeah, that's all so I'm doing right now. That's how it's. I mean, I'm uh, I'm Tiana Puerto Rican, so that's what uh, this symbol here, endless water. Which is kind of funny. I really can't swim. I'm oh. not a good swimmer. I've never been a good swimmer. I'm, I'm Mexican. I'm not a really good swimmer though. At least there's a lot more land there, you know? Like, you don't have to worry so much. Like, Puerto Rico, that's an island the size of Orange County, Florida. You know, I, I sneeze, I'm on another beach. Yeah. I sneeze, I'm in another beach. I was telling my friend about how I wanted to do, the, like, sunrise on the east coast of Florida and then drive across the state and watch the sunset on the west coast. And he's from Key West. And he was like, yeah, we do that too. We just turn around. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's so true though. That's so true. That A1A drive, like if you drive along the coast, it's gorgeous though. I mean, if you like beach towns, it's really chill. I love beach towns. I would live in a beach town so hard. I live in Gainesville, I don't know if anywhere. About as far away from the ocean as you can be in this, in this state. Okay. Ooh. Actually, Kevin, you hold that? Oh, I totally drew on that upside down. I'm sorry. <laughs> No I know, I just have to make sure I can see it. <laughs> there it is. It may not have a, a LCD, LCD screen on the camera, but it's an easy to watch. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Really comes in handy. Thank you, this is awesome. Hey, no worries, no worries. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Your, your name again? I'm Rando. Rando? Mm -hmm. uh, very good to meet you. I'm well, good. R.C. Ray is like my, like, whatever, but... Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's like my adult name, you know? <laughs> but Rando oh. is short for Randolpho. That's too many syllables. Nobody calls me Randolpho. <laughs>